Hey there folks, Minecraft Grand here bringing you another video. In fact, bringing you another series. Uh, I'm starting season 2 and I'm starting it on a brand new server. This is Everneath, a server I selected for its community. Now, I did record, you know, finding the place and uh, building the initial hobbit hole, putting this pillar up, and finding a couple of sheep. However, uh, unfortunately, my microphone was set to the external dynamic and not my headset, so you can't hear anything. So I am starting over, <laughs> of course, uh, and I apologize that I'm, I'm kind of bringing you in with, you know, I've got a few resources, I found a few diamonds. Uh, I, I didn't want you to think, you know, that this was... Uh, <laughs> This was me leaving you behind. It was just more that um, the video didn't work. So I do have a bed. I have slept in it to set my spawn point. I started this initial hobble ho hobbit hole, and like I always do, I, I pretty much just block myself in, set up some furnaces, set up some food uh, right here, uh, and then mine down, and I'm, I'm not going to emerge from my hobbit hole until I need more resources or I have everything I need to, you know, face the mobs. So I'm looking for diamond armor. Uh, I'm looking for enchanted. You know, I, I want to be able to come out and survive uh, out on the surface where all the bad guys are. So I have begun my mind. Let me let me show you around down here. Um, initially, I like to go straight out and then branch to the right and the left. Uh, and then make uh, long skinny rows off of that but I hit a big lava lake right off the bat so what I did instead was turn and go this way left and right uh, for my three wide front part of the mine and then I went back 150 blocks this way oh, I tried to go 150 blocks this way and at the back side of this there's another one of these corridors that goes all the way across it's only too wide and that's because I, I don't have a great sense of direction and because I always do my mind the same way I can I can land I you know in any any one of these slits and know exactly where I am I always put the torches on the right side of the uh, wall going away from the main shaft and then when I'm coming back, I'll put them on, of course, the left side, so that when you're facing it like this, they're all on the left side. Uh, that way, I, no matter where I am in my mind, I know where I'm going. Uh, front is three wide. The two back ends, down that way 150 blocks and down that way 150 blocks, will also be two wide. I will also make three levels. And if you can look at my, uh, my XYZ, my head is at seven, which means this block right beneath my feet is six okay and that's generally where I go is go down to go down to bedrock and then come back up until I'm at six and I have found a few diamonds I mean I'm, I'm on my second pick and you saw how many diamonds I had upstairs I mean it's not a great number for what I've done but uh, you know it is a few and then if we come down here and see this this one right here this took two hours to get through right here um, and I went around it because right in through there is more of that that harshness right in through there okay so went around it now both of these slits go all the way to the end and I'll just show you the back end and then uh, then I'm gonna get started now I did explore a little bit I'm in a I'm at the edge of two biomes I'm I've got snow around me and I have uh, kind of a, a ocean biome on one side so this is the back side of the mine. See how it's too wide? So I'll, I'll know, based on which direction the torches are, where I am at any given time. And that's just, that's just how I roll. Maybe that's being old. Maybe that's being a grandmother. Because <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, you know, if I, if I were to leave in the middle of the game, you know, right here, I, I'd wander out and be like, well, where am I? So I need to be able to navigate back. That's all I'm going to say about that. Okay. So that's uh, that's me getting started again, and uh, let's see. I think I hit lava there. Yeah, and we've hit some more here. It's just there's just a whole lot of lava down here. I hope it doesn't continue like this, uh, because man, it's hard to make progress when you're hitting lava all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some more. <gasps> oh, I thought I fell off. Now I do uh, I do bring a lot of gravel with me, uh, especially to test it so that was 
that's four deep. Okay, so there's no use trying to just one-off it with the cobblestone where I need to be. Let's see it. And that's this one, right? Oh, I went one far, one too far over. Good grief. So knowing that this was here, I would, um, I would just put gravel on either side of it and just go right through the middle. And I make it a point to not take gravel out from the sides uh, if I encounter it, you know, on the way back. Uh-oh. See, that's obsidian. Oh, and I've been here, which means that's going to be lava. Come on. I meant to do that one more time. Okay, and how how tall am I? I think I'm going to be able to go right under that. I am. Okay. So this should be, let me through. I get a little nervous around those. And that's just one of those, right? Go ahead and block off this side. Yep, yep, yep. So it has been a while since I have worked around lava. I've uh, been playing Ark Survival Evolved for a while, and if you guys have never played that, do yourself a favor and go get that. That is just big loads of fun. Uh, but it is uh, it is difficult. I mean, you're uh, you know you're a survivor. You're dropped on a deserted island, and and there's dinosaurs that are gonna try and eat your face, and uh, it you know it's it's yeah it's interesting. Now you can use those same dinosaurs. You can uh, train them to uh, to help you. Is this one gonna go? Please, please tell me. No, of course not. Let's try this. Can I anywhere in here? No. Uh, so you know, certain dinosaurs are better at other you know certain things than others. Uh, there's one dinosaur that's really good at gathering berries, and you need berries to train other dinosaurs. There's another dinosaur that's really good at, uh, oops, come on, come on. That was close. Anyway, Ark Survival Evolved. Uh, you start out in the Stone Age, much as you are in Minecraft, and but by the end of the game, you are, you, you've got w uh, automatic weapons, you've got uh, uh, riot gear. I mean, it's just, it's crazy what you can do in Ark. I spent a couple. Oh, stop! Spent a about a year, year and a half playing art, pretty much all the time, uh, and then uh, you know find myself gravitating back towards uh, Minecraft because Minecraft for me is just it's just big, big fun. You can build anything you want to build. You can do anything you want to do. Uh, I just find it um, a lot more. Uh, enjoyable than Ark in the long term. Now, I probably would have continued playing Ark if I had a big, you know, tribe and community of people, uh, but when you don't, you know, single player Ark is just not all that, uh, all that fun. So I'm going to see if I can just go right under this, maybe go down one. Can I go down here? No, it's not letting me. Alright, what I need is, uh, I need gravel right there. So that's that one. Okay, let's get on top of it and do it that way. Come on. Boy, the lag is real with this many people on. I did show you how many were on, right? Uh, this is the first day of the season here on Everneath. Uh, they just reset the map. In fact, yesterday was the TNT party blowing up the original. Uh, that was uh, that was big fun. Now, I wasn't a part of the server when all that other stuff was built. Uh oh. Uh, but I did get to uh, I did get to blow blow some stuff up. They let me blow a little bit up. That was kind of fun. Let's see, can I do this one more? Let me down. I can, can't I? That's stone. Okay, let's do... Oh, 
Oh no. I knew that. I knew that. I'm trying to go under it. I remember now. <laughs> it's all coming back to me. Anyway. Arc. Let's see what else has been going on. Um most of you know uh I'm my mom's caregiver and that means uh I get to stay home quite a bit. Uh now fortunately I do work from home. Uh and you know, that makes it easier to take care of her. Uh but I, I uh I just am playing playing video games and working for a living. That's that's pretty much my, my world right now. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get under this. I wonder if do you guys know another way? Hmm. Maybe. Can I reach that? No. Nope. Oh, I did it again. I, see, this is what I mean by the memory, guys. How many times have I done that? You'd think I would remember that is lava under that block. Okay, let's try it now. Hello. One more little... See, now I can just put this on top. What's under here? Oh, yay, yay, yay. Okay, I'm seeing a glow. So it's this one? Yep. Okay, anyway, I get sidetracked. I'm easily sidetracked. I apologize for that. I, it's, you know, you can't lose your focus when you're working around lava. That's just, you just can't. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be on fire in no time. And my keyboard cording isn't, uh, isn't good enough to be able to survive... <laughs> Uh, by by rolling my mouse to get where I need to be really quickly. Is this... Uh... Okay, I did all of those. Let's, let's do uh, some light here. Yeah, I definitely have some lava dripping right here and here. How about this one? Yeah, coming through this one. How about this one? Nice. Okay, so I think I can start working my way back up, huh? Whew. I'm telling you, I really don't like being around lava. Did I just see a drop go in front of me? No? Yeah, I don't like to be underneath it when I'm when I'm knocking a hole out. Okay, I'm on the same level? Yep, I am. Okay. Off off we go again. Now, I, you know, a lot of people go around this stuff. I, I, I like to go right through it where possible. Um, use the gravel to get me through there if I need to. I'm just not a big fan of uh, lava altogether. Oh, and I'm out of gravel. Okay. Tell you what, I'm going to... Oh, nope, I have a little more. I was going to say I was going to head back and uh, pick up some more. I'm at the right level. I don't I don't need to go down anymore. In fact. Oh good grief. Hello. That's that's my keyboarding skills right there. <gasps> See? See what I'm saying? See? <laughs> I almost walked right into that lava. I did that earlier. Now fortunately it was one block and I had my uh water on my hot bar. This was before the uh the little mouse started skipping and rolling and doing all kinds of crazy things. I was able to hit nine and pick up my water real fast and put myself out, but I took a little bit of damage, I'm just going to say. Uh, Granny got her britches on fire and uh, <laughs> uh, was running around the cave like a crazy woman. You should have seen that. Anyway, okay, new season, Minecraft Grand. We're going to do a few things. Uh, I'm going to be building one of the automated fish farms, probably... Azumba voids, or you know, I don't know, maybe um, maybe Nim Tuts. Uh oh. Hmm. Okay, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. I saw this earlier. In fact, I uh, I worked my way around it earlier. See right there. That's uh, right on the other side of that is uh, the other tunnel. get out of my 
my swim lane right here. Oop. Well, I'm having trouble hitting this little line. Anyway, sorry. Uh, automated fish farm, automated uh, pumpkin farm. That's that's on the goal for the next episode. Now I know uh, I know it seems like we just started, and for you we just have, but I've already been playing like five hours. Um, oh, really, Gran? Really? Good grief. I knew better. I just had a brain fart. It happens. It happens when you get old, kids. <laughs> Eat your vegetables. Build your brain. Because you never know how long it's going to last you. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's get up here and get this. Because you can never have too much iron, right? Uh, in fact, I went through, I want to say, five or six iron picks before I got my first diamond. Uh, I was doing stone before that, just so I could, uh, you know, hang on to the iron that I had. Uh, it's, man, it took a while. You saw how much of this mine is already built. It took a while to get to this point. Okay, is this the row we're on? Okay. Don't want any, oh, don't want any mobs spawning in here. Uh, I do like my mines to be just as safe as possible. I want to know that no matter which direction I turn, I'm not going to have somebody waiting on me that's going to try and shoot me in the face with an arrow. Or groan and moan and, uh, you know, try to take my head. Oh, goodness. Really? More lava. You know... Good gravy. Let's see. That was, um, yep, yep. Okay, well, I tell you what. Uh, despite the fact that it is a really short episode, I am going to call it quits today. Like I said, I have been playing for a while. Stay tuned next time. We're going to build an automated fish farm. We're going to build an automated uh, pumpkin and melon farm. I do have my potatoes and carrots and wheat growing right now. It's, none of that's automated, but I'm able to sustain myself. And really, that's all you're looking for while you're down here trying to build up levels and, and put together your armor. So stay tuned. Uh, next episode coming out in a couple of days. Until then, this is Minecraft Grand saying happy mining.